And and so to switch on to the music side, like when did yeah. you start making music? I couldn't tell you. Ever since I can remember, I've been into music. My dad right. was in in Tribali, so okay, out, that was in Tribali. All right, all right. Um, so that's like he he influenced me with music. My grandfather played on the guitar super well. Um, so that influenced me as well, I guess. And then the day the pinpointed day I can like focus on where I'm like, yeah, this is where it started. Is my dad left home and he left me with his upstairs on the roof of our house we had a studio his studio like a drum set yeah a bunch of instruments and he had this laptop which was broken to shit you needed a hairpin in between the keyboard and the monitor for it to turn on <laughs> right and he had this program called nano studio mm -hmm. i don't know if you've heard of it no idea it's old as hell yeah. It's slow, <laughs> yeah but it was there and he played this there was a sound library on this piano mm -hmm. and you could just press the keyboard and sounds would come out mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i was mesmerized he left home. He was like, do whatever you want, you know, like yeah. just enjoy for the next like six or seven hours. I didn't come down from the roof. I just make melodies, yeah. jamming out. And that's like the day where I, I think I can say it started. I okay. fell in love with, with it. And so, so do you uh, make the melodies for your songs yourself? And, and do you do it? Do you do the whole shebang or do you have someone that does the melody? Um, and so I used to, I used to produce. I used to, I used to not get on the mic at all. All right. Because I just didn't think i was good enough let's uh -huh. you know and then um i started selling beats i made a little bit of money off that i was like yo this is dope all right um and then one day i met ben miller mm -hmm. um well, i didn't meet him i texted him okay without expecting a reply back he was like a god to me you know all right all right and he was like yo i was like yo can i send you some beats he's like sure i sent them to him he was like bro these are fire you need to come to the studio I'm like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, let's plan it. He's like, nah, I'm coming to pick you up now. <laughs> it's like 10 p.m. I'm living in zero. My mom, I'm young, right? I'm like 13 or something. Oh, dude, you're 13. Yeah, and I'm I'm making beats on my PC at this point. I got uh -huh. a PC. Um, he pulls up and he's like, yo, you don't have a laptop? I'm like, nah, bro, I have a PC. We fully unplugged my whole ass PC, put it in the back of his car. In the meantime, I'm like dying inside because I'm like, this is Ben Miller, bro. Ben Miller's with me right now. <laughs> so we went to his studio. Um, and then once I saw him recording, I was like, yo, I need to, I need to start recording. You know what I mean? I did record before that, but yeah, yeah, that yeah. really pushed me. I was like, I need to be like this guy. He's like, you know what I nice, mean? Nice, nice. Um, and that's, I think where I started recording and stopped producing mm -hmm. and yeah, ever since then. So, so nowadays I still make beats. I just don't use my beats because I spend All so right. much time making them. I get sick of them. Okay. 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 Ah, uh, yeah. I know that's pain. But I know that's pain. Other than that, everything else is, is me mixing, mastering, releasing, marketing. All whatever, right, all right, uh, all right, all right. Do the whole thing. So, yeah. Wait, and so, and so when did you release your first album? My first album was earlier this year, I think January. My first ever song, my first ever song <clears throat> was called Trap Talk. Trap Talk. <laughs> Trap Talk, yeah. <laughs> I was back in like 2016 or 15, I think. Oh, wow, okay. And the microphone was a soda So again, can. you were like, sorry, 13, 14? I was young, bro. I don't know how <laughs> young, but that was the first time I had my own shit because my brother, my best friend, the guy who's been with me through everything, right? Um, he came back from the UK because he keeps moving in and out for some reason. I don't know why. He right. just does. <laughs> and he came back that time and he acquired all the software for me let's say you know what mm -hmm. i mean because i couldn't afford it back then yes shit i still can't bro that's just expensive <laughs> oh um but yeah he he hooked me up with fl studio and stuff and we had this shitty usb mic whatever like it was like 10 euros of, of course somewhere yeah don't know where whatever um and nah scrap that there wasn't that mic nah he came we had fl studio and then we recorded the audio separately from an iphone we mm -hmm. like plugged iPhone headphones in here. Okay. Went to voice memos and then put the mic of the headphones through a soda can. Okay. And the soda can was my mic. <laughs> so that was that was how we recorded the first song. And then we released that on YouTube. It got like a couple hundred views. We we're like, yo, we're popping. We're the best on the island now. Let's keep going. Of course. So then we made this legendary song called Made Make a Hit. Make a hit. Make a hit. All right. Um and it was just it was something that kind of brought our name out to our friends group. We're like, yeah, we make music now. You know? all right, and all right, to all, all right. of us, it was sick back then. Of course. Looking back at it now, it's like one of the most cringiest things you could ever listen to. <laughs> but progress, yeah, you know, yeah, is like yeah, where we course. started. From there, um, yeah, that was like the second release. And then the third release, I think, was Nerves. And that was the first song I ever had on Spotify. Okay. Like I had, I think, Ben helped me out. All right. And we like set up my, my Spotify account, set up DistroKid and all that. And then Nerves was the first release ever. I think that was like 2019. Toast, yeah. And that's 
where Spotify started. And then you've been going going yeah. from there. But it's amazing. Like you managed to like get out two albums in the span of a year, essentially, right? People no? say it's like it's a big deal. And like I the thing is a lot of artists would play it off like, yeah, it's two albums, bro. Like look, mm-hmm. I'm working hard. Yeah, yeah. But if you want me to be like completely honest, I make about a song, if not two, a day. So if if you take into consideration the album's twelve songs. Yeah. Yeah, we can say that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got twelve songs on there, it's fine. Um if you take into consideration the album's twelve songs, like that's six days. If if not twelve, I mean yeah, if I'm yeah. taking my time. So yeah, I mean. But then where's all this music if you're making? Uh, like it's in a vault, bro. And the the worst part about it is I, I work so hard. I make so much music that I find what I make like two weeks ago shit. Right. You know, and my manager gets really mad at me for that <laughs> because he's like, bro, like you need to fucking release it. I'm like, no, nah, it's not good enough. Like yeah. we need to release this new stuff. No, you need. He's right. You know, he's, he's right because right it shows yes. progress, and I think yes. that's important even for the fans to know, like to see, okay, you came from here to here. Yeah rather than fucking from 2018 trap talk to season two you know <laughs> it is important but it's just it's yeah. my thing kind of, you know <laughs> no i dude i 100 percent get it uh, but but i mean yeah look so these podcasts i edit them all myself i make the tiktoks myself blah blah the tiktoks i think are really are pretty good they're, they are. they're good I fuck with them. Uh, they're yes thank you um the podcast themselves kind of mediocre i'll be honest <laughs> but I mean, but i've made eight you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and especially with something like music, I think you need to make volume for it to be good. And you never know, okay. as much as you see it as garbage, you never know how other people are going to Thanks. react Thanks. to it. Yeah. And you, won't, you can only improve once you get that reaction, mm-hmm. once you get that feedback, right? So just, just release it. No one, gives it, no one cares. No one cares. Trap talk number two coming on the way. Let's yo. do it. <laughs> no, we, we, me and me and Leon, because Leon was on that song, right? So mm. let me, I'm going to run down Leon uh-huh. real quick, right? I was in Form 1. Uh, I met this girl in Form 1. I had a huge crush on her. Okay. Started hitting on her. Of uh, course. Turns out she had a brother. Uh-huh. Her brother got pissed at me and he chased me with a fire extinguisher <laughs> into the bathroom. And that's where me and Leon met. <laughs> Leon was holding the fire extinguisher. Um, so yeah, after that in like Form 1 or Form 2, he dipped. He came back. We were both making music at that point, so he got me FL Studio. And then he dipped, came back again, and then I think he moved away like two years ago again. So in, in that time span from when he moved back, we we just became like so fucking close, yeah. like family close. Yeah, and he, he helps you with the music and with the, like he is yeah, a yeah. musician as well. Everything. He used to rap. Okay. He used to rap. Um, I think oh, his old music isn't good. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's basically <laughs> on the same level as mine. Like yeah. we, were, we were both trash. <clears throat> Now, I think um, he's stressing too much about progress and stuff. Like, Mm. I feel like he doesn't want to release something unless it's perfect, like with the mix and stuff and all that. The trap. Um, But I think if he pushed it, he'd be good. But I know that's not his passion. He wants to be a movie director. Okay. So I'm not pushing him on music. He's dropping stuff here and there. I'm like, cool. Yeah. So whatever he wants to do. And so so what's what's (laughs) your... um, We'll loop loop back around to the music. But so is... Is the music the the thing? Is that like yeah. what you're pointed at? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And then everything else you do, like I know you work with with Vibe. Like what yeah. do you do with Vibe? Content creation. Content creation. I'm like not diverse. Like okay, so music. So if you think about, it, I have like a pyramid, right? Imagine this. Music's at the very top, okay. and then everything kind of spans down from there. Okay. So like, Kevin Hart is a comedian, but he acts, right? Yes, so I'd yes, love yes. to do fucking acting and music. I'd love to be in, I don't know, live performances, all that, whatever, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I dabble in comedy sometimes because why not? Whatever it is, like as long as it's kind of content creation based, yes, I'm down to do. Yeah, in so. fact, in fact, something I was going to tell you about about your album because I listened to your your new album. I liked yeah. it especially for like second fucking album. You're 19 yeah. years old. It's phenomenal for <laughs> when you consider that. Thank um, you. And but one 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 thing I wanted to to tell you was I I feel you need to be funnier. Like, because I feel like you need to be more you in a sense. In the music. In the music, like I, because okay. I, I scrolled your TikTok uh-huh. and I'm like, oh, you know, this fucking thing, this thing, this thing, this these these specific videos. I'm like, these are fucking funny, yeah. and they, you know, you can tell when someone kind of has that spark in a sense. Okay. But I, then I don't feel it comes out in the music. Okay, fair. And fair. I feel that could be your competitive advantage in a sense that that could be okay. your part of your uniqueness. I got you. Um. Yeah. I think so point one is I, I've made funny ass songs I made songs oh, yeah? about being broke and stuff which, <laughs> which never came out just because I, I haven't gotten around to them 
but do it i'm i'm aiming to do something like that which is more nice. real like on the real side of life yeah yeah, yeah a lot of people tell me like yeah you flex too much in the music mm. like you talk about the money the hoes the yeah, lifestyle, yeah. whatever and a lot of that stuff is actually true just because of how i built my life like mm -hmm. people don't believe it <laughs> but um at the same time a lot of the stuff isn't true and i think a lot of people have this mindset where it's like if it's not true you can't be saying it in the music like it's a big no-no nowadays mm -hmm. and i think with someone like eminem or joiner lucas they're not focused on flexing or whatever mm -hmm. And there's a time and a place for that that type of music. Mm -hmm. But when I'm making music, or let's say when I'm making music now, because shit might change in a week, you yeah. know, um, I'm making music for someone to put someone in a certain headspace. Yes. So if you're heading to work and you fucking hate your job, you don't want to be there. You know you're going to have an ass day. For that 20-minute drive, I want you to be in a headspace of you're in a club, you have as much money as you want, you're living your best life, your dreams. And just to put you in a headspace for that kind of time span, you know? Yes. Just to put you through an experience kind of thing. I, I can 100% relate with like comedy, so, for example. Like yeah. if I'm doing stand up, all right, like I try and be as honest as possible just because I feel that I can kind of relate to what I'm saying more. But if I think of something that's funny, that's, that is go, a good it. joke, <laughs> like, I'm going to say it, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I don't right. care if it's not true. Or not. Like yeah. I have this one joke where, where I talk about this, I tell a story about a, a girl I was seeing. And I say like, ah, you know, she was about six inches, six inches taller than me, but I don't go fuck. I can climb. She, yeah. she wasn't six inches taller than me. Like she was shorter than me, but it's it a funny a, joke. It's a good joke. Yeah. <laughs> thanks.